We are all fascinated with the story of how strong Samson was. The question is, who killed Samson? Delilah or the Philistines? None of these options is correct. Permit me to tell you how. Even if there were 10,000 Philistine soldiers, they couldn't have defeated Samson. Do you know why? Samson's strength was not of this world. It was divine. God was fighting through him. As long as no one can defeat God, no army could have defeated Samson, no matter how strong or how many. Samson was raised a terror for the Philistines. He was born as God's weapon. He killed a lion with his own bare hands, lifted the gate of a city on his shoulders, and walked with it for kilometers. Listen to this. He killed 300 Philistine soldiers just with a jawbone. What if he had a spear or a sword? How many will have lied dead? So who killed Samson? The answer is Samson. Yes, Samson killed himself. A man is his greatest enemy. What an enemy cannot do to a man, he will do to himself. Samson killed himself. He delivered himself to the lap of Delilah and used his own mouth to tell the secret source of his power. His life promised so much, but it delivered so little. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that the foolishness of man perverted his way and his heart fretted against the Lord. Nobody can ruin your life except what you do with your own two hands. Your enemy is inner me. Always look inside. Although you can blame it on God or parents or government or your partner, your wife or your husband, you are the architect of your life. You are your own greatest enemy. Even if your grandparents had done any evil, until you press the trigger, it won't explode on your face. A loaded gun won't kill you until you pull the trigger. No Satan or witch has the power to destroy you no matter how much they hate you. You are the one who can kill yourself by your own actions. When the enemies try in vain to kill you, they lie in wait and allow you to kill yourself by your own actions. Give him a rope long enough and he'll hang himself. That's a saying we all be used to. Goliath, the champion, couldn't hurt David, but adultery destroyed David and his family. The Gentile nations couldn't hurt Moses, but anger killed him. When King Jeroboam stretched his hand against the prophet, his hand dried up, it withered. He couldn't hurt him, but his own disobedience turned him to become prey for a lion. When God simply told Pharaoh, let my people go and serve me, he ignored disobedience and arrogance killed Pharaoh. It wasn't God. King Saul was killed by his covetousness and of course his disobedience. Your greatest enemy isn't outside there, it is in you. Millions are killing themselves with their own mouth by what they eat and what they drink. Millions die of sexually transmitted diseases every year as we speak. Will you blame a witch for that? Will you blame God? Will you blame your parents? Hundreds of thousands of divorce and breakup happen every year because people destroy their own marriages and homes with their own hands. In the book of Proverbs, the holy book says, every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish one tears it down with her own hands. If you fail, don't look far away. Look inwards because what is killing you is inside of you. What you yield yourself to will either kill or save you. There is no in between. So if you continue yielding yourself to fornication, that is what will kill you both spiritually and of course physically. Everyone has a seed of sin deposited in him through his academic nature. True repentance kills that seed. But if you don't kill that anger, that pride, jealousy, greed, lust, it won't just kill you in the future. It might have been killing you, but it's already killed you already. That is why no matter how much people die of cancer and diabetes, people won't stop smoking and drinking because a man signs his own dead world. Your life is an open chain. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Kill that seed before it kills you. Quit that habit now 
Because your greatest enemy is it a man or a spirit or Satan, but your greatest enemy is you. Yes, it's you. I'm my greatest enemy. And my purpose in life is simply to dominate myself. 